Gallagher, Dvorak going to work. Nearly popped free for Anderson. Gallagher, wrist shot, kicks up, rebound, score! Great deflection, and Brandon Gallagher will take it. Oh, here's Caulfield. Sends it up top. Savard hesitates. A cross shot, score! Beautiful shot from the youngster as Cade and Gooley lets it fly. His first of the NHL. It's a big one. Cross Anderson chipped at it. Missed. Dvorak slings it across. That shot block. Rebound Anderson. Oh, what a stop. And then swatted by power. Eric Comrie gets serious. Anderson again. Shoot. Score. The deflection in front as the halves get the last laugh. Josh Anderson with the rip and the halves lead again. Yes, the Montreal Canadian beat the Buffalo Sabres by a score a 3-2 yesterday. This is, was their first W on the road, the 4-W and 8 game. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we have today on the Ab Daily News, episode number 163. Then I'm going to talk about Caden Cooley at the end and the World Junior Championship 2023. Let's dive in and talking about the first subject of the day. Of course, the first subject of the day, guys, is the recap game between the Buffalo Sabres and the Montreal Canadian. Final score, Montreal Canadian 3, Buffalo Sabres 2. Like we do usually, we give you all the score and what happens during the game. First of all, Montreal Canadian take the lead 1-0 at 13-31. A goal of Gallagher, second of the season. Josh Anderson got an assist at Dewa Rack got his first helper of the season. It was 1-0 Montreal. Gallagher shot the point on the left side of Comrie, saved by Comrie, but unfortunately hit the skate of Owen Power, and that's the way the puck go in, and that's what Montreal they delete, 1-0. Overall, the Buffalo Sabre was a bit better compared to Montreal Canadian. Whatsoever, 13-shot Buffalo, a 12 for the Montreal Canadian. Montreal at 0-2 on power play, a 0-1 for the... Buffalo after 20 minutes. Then at the beginning of the second period, the Buffalo Sabres uh, tied the game on the power play. Jeff Skinner scored his first goal of the season, a stood by Tuck. Jack Quinn, good shot of the Skinner over the left shoulder of uh, Montembeau. We have to give credit for Skinner on this goal. We know Skinner last season has a full goal uh, against the Montreal Canadiens. So after 40 minutes, the score was 1-1. One one. Buffalo dominates during that second period. But Montembeau, it was solid between the pipe. Keep Montreal in the game. Then we started third period. And then Kenan Cooley at 6.51 scored his first goal and NHL, a great one-timer shot that beat Camry over the, his right shoulder. Savao a Caulfield got an assist. But again, for the second time in this game, Buffalo Sabres, a little bit six minutes later, a cousin tied the game 2-2 with his third goal of the season. Bryson and Pilot got a helper on this goal, but it was not over yet because... Less of four minutes later, Josh Anderson, after he got still a goal by Comrie, a big save and power, pushed the puck with his hand. The puck go back at David Saval, and he did a great pass to Josh Anderson. One more time, he used his one-timer shot, and the puck go through the defenseman of the Buffalo and the goaltender, and that was the goal-winning game for the Montreal Canadiens. Josh Anderson was his third Goal of the season, second point of the evening, like David Saval. That guy was all the goal we got tonight between the Buffalo Sabre and the Montreal Canadian. Let's move in now for the leader of the night. We have Josh Anderson, two point. Caulfield shot six times on the goaltender, Comrie. Saval play over 22 minutes, 49 seconds. Then Montembeau, guys, save percentage of nine, five, and six. On the flip side, we have a swim player with the Buffalo Saber with one point. Thompson shot eight times on Montembeau. Dallin played over 27 48. And finally, Comrie have a save percentage on 9 1 2. Played pretty good overall between the pipe for the Buffalo Sabres. The only reason Montreal win this game is we have to give credit for Samuel Montembeau. Save 30. 43 of the 45 shot he, he faced it yesterday for the save percentage of 9, 5, and 6. Montembo it was alert. Kid Montreal in the game. And honestly, it was maybe one of his best performances since he's been with the Montreal Canadiens. So we have to give credit for Samuel Montembo. Since the beginning of the season, Montembo have a great performance every night. If you look about this uh, 
when O'Miller, Montreal Canadiens should not win this game. There was only 35.9 versus 64.1 chance percentage of the Buffalo win this game. If we look about the shot, look the blueprint of the Buffalo Sabre, the high danger scoring chance they got in front of Montembeau, but Montembeau resists at those shots. Compressively to Montreal, you can see not many shots in front of the net. The next thing I want to talk about, guys, Montreal is really now play for 500. And one of the reasons is the goaltender, Allen and Montembeau. Allen is the number seven in NHL, Montembeau number nine on the goal save above expected. And then the goal save above expected per 60 minutes. Just give you an idea how Montreal can in the end, their goaltending so far make a big friend and that's the one reason if they are four and four three of the four game guys that they won the game by only by one goals we have to give credit for both goaltending for the montreal canadian then i want to talk about yesterday it's that the line of gallagher they were anderson all three play a solid game uh, gallagher and anderson score a goal but they were have an assist but his fourth checking is a percentage Fraser, it was pretty good overall. That was maybe the best line for the Montreal yesterday against the Buffalo Sabres. I honestly, we have to give this uh, game as a team effort. Uh, or I cannot recall it. One specific player played bad for the Montreal Canadiens. Everybody played good overall. And then Coley scored his first goal of the season. Let's see how he did it. Cole Carfield passes Saval Saval to Coley. A one-timer shot, guys. Over the left shoulder of the Camry. What a shot. What a great goal for Caden Coley. We'll talk about him the next couple of minutes. And then I want to move on before we finish this subject by number. You know how I am love the analytic. Let's finish in with all the number. Montreal Canadian face off guy, pretty good. 57%. We know the power play was 0 3 and uh, Buffalo was 1 and 4 against Montreal in the end. High danger chance for Montreal have only 11 versus uh, they gave 20. And that's the reason why Montreal can in the end uh, win because of Montembo. Secondly, one thing I like about uh, this game, usually Montreal struggle a lot with the rebound. Uh, they lose the track of the puck or they don't, cannot recover the puck quicker. And yesterday, after they gave that chance, the high danger again, Montembeau, they finally have a better game to put the puck out uh, at this area. F and finally, I want to mention to you, Montreal, our power play was 0-3, nine shot attempts, five on the net, uh, three missed the net completely, and one block shot, three occasion. Montreal right now is 1-24, and and honestly, they are at the bottom and in each other. I want to finish this uh, subject, guys, because I want to talk about Remus Dalin. I watched about, I don't know, at least 12, 15, 18 games per week, 60 minutes each game, plus all the highlights. So far, right now, I believe Remus Dalin is the best defenseman in NHL. He's going to win at some point the Norris Trophy. Maybe not this year, but in the future. It's impressive the way he plays. You can see, guy is now 22 years old. It took him four years. So people said, oh, he's not good already, Savkarski. Guys, it takes time. A little bit longer for defensemen. Imagine what Cooley right now does for the Montreal Canadiens, Jordan Harris, and Albert Jackai. And they, all of them are only 20 years old. Just Jordan Harris is 22, probably only 18 games in NHL. Experience. Time, that's what a part of the process. But I just want to show to you guys that yesterday, Ramos Dalé was unbelievable on every area. This complete, guys, my first subject of the day. The next subject of the day, guys, is we I'll call this all the time the ab news. But this week, at this time, I want to talk about Caden Cooley because his performance yesterday was impressive. At the point right now, after a game, the way he played, uh, I have to consider him possibly to become a top two defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens as the first pairing for the future. The 20 years old is impressive this year. And the one reason is because guy is played so far over 20 minutes, six of the is eight game with the Montreal Canadiens. He has already, listen, 17 block shot, 15 hit, nine shot on the net. Play again the top players every single game. I'm talking about he played with uh, David Sava on the first pairing. Just give you an idea how it's difficult it is whatsoever he has a minus three. We have to give him credit for what he accomplished so far with the Montreal Canadian. Goalie, guys, uh, he showed me is calm. 
whatever, he make a mistake, he come back like nothing happened. It's really good for me, his mindset about the game. He really forgot where we said great hockey player have to have a short memory. And that's happening with Coley. He's never nervous, play on P power play now. And then he play on the PK for the Montreal Canadiens as a first pairing. Kaden Coley is going to be one of the best defensemen in the first serve for the Montreal Canadiens. And let's finish in, guys, with my last subject of the day. My last subject of the day, guys, is about the World Junior Championship at 2023. First of all, Team Sweden play next month in November. They call it like the Three Nation Tournament U20 is in Czechia, Finland, Sweden, and Czechia play this tournament. Usually Adam Armstrong is going to be one of the top pairing defensemen for the team. We expect him to be a part of the team when they're going to play at the World Junior Championship 2023. He have a great season so far. Then the Canada should be represented by Joshua Hua. Owen Beck, a rally kidney is going to be invited for sure to participate to the tournament. We know Hua was a part of the Team Canada last August. Now, would be interesting if Beck can make it and Kidney. That's the two other candidates Montreal Canadiens could have on that Team Canada. Team USA, we expect the defenseman Lane Hudson to be a part of the 2023 for USA. Slovakia, we think Philip Mazar would be a part of this team. Finland, Oliver Kapanen could be another one for Finland. And finally, for Austria, the four-round pick in Montreal Canadiens NHL 2022. Vincent Rohrer should be part of the team Austria for the World Junior Championship. So that give you guys uh, a possibility. Seven to nine players could join their own country to represent them at the World Junior Championship 2023. Definitely, guys, I'm going to talk more about that tournament a little bit the next couple of weeks. But I just want to share with you who could be part of this tournament in the next uh, couple of months. This complete, guys, this episode 163. Wow, what a great performance for the Montreal Canadiens. I give you a little bit the recap of the game and definitely a couple of news about the Montreal Canadiens. And finally, of course, we want to remind you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to our Canadian show. Please uh, leave me a comment. Uh, and finally, of course, you have greatness inside of you. We wish you an amazing, great, uh, blessing day, everybody.